What's going on bros and girls, so today we'll be doing a quick unboxing of the Intel G530 Sandy Bridge Celeron processor. Now some of you may be going, Celeron processor, Pfft, weak sauce bro. But I assure you that this CPU is nothing like the Celerons of old. The Sandy Bridge architecture offers a huge improvement over the previous models and on the Intel side, this is probably one of the best performance per dollar processors you can get at only about $40. And that price does even include the CPU cooler. It's a dual core two thread processor running at 2.4 gigahertz and they're perfect for home theater PCs or if you pair them with a semi-decent GPU, even a budget gaming build. And that is exactly what I'm using this with in my new project, Pure White Build. This will be a white themed secondary rig, and for more info and full component list on Project Pure White, just click the annotation or the link in the description. So quick to around the box, on the front you have the model number and the socket 1155. On the top you have a window showcasing the CPU itself, and this side over here shows some tech specs such as 2.4 gigahertz. It's got a two megabyte cache and it has a TDP of 65 watts, which is pretty low considering my i7-930 has a max TDP of 130 watts. This side over here, you have some more features and specs such as two cores, two threads, Intel HD graphics, which I won't be using. I'll be using uh, one of my Radeon cards, Intel smart cache technology, and it has a three year warranty. And finally, on the back, you have some info in different languages. If you want to read it for yourself, just pause the video. You have some compatibility warnings. And on the bottom, just more different languages. So onto the unboxing, there's just a tape seal right over here. And I will proceed to stick my tool in and break her wide open. All right, so the first thing you see is the heat sink for the CPU, the CPU cooler. And it looks like the standard issue Intel heat sink, it actually looks very similar to the one used in the 3770K, so it shouldn't be too bad. And since I won't be overclocking, this one will be the one that I will be using. And onto the chip itself just on the top over here and I'll just pop it out of the plastic and show you guys what it looks like in full detail. So there you go, here's what the front looks like. It just shows the model number and where it was made in, which is Malaysia. I'll just let it focus in one more time. There you are and on the back, here's just the contact points. And the final thing included in the bottom of the box is this installation and warranty booklet, which also includes a Intel Inside Celeron logo sticker. So I hope you guys all enjoyed my unboxing of the Intel Celeron Sandy Bridge G530 processor. If you did, please thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And follow me on Twitter, it would help me out tremendously. Until next time, YouTube. Peace.